Praise be to God. God bless you this Tuesday. And we have confidence in our God. Scripture says, cast not your confidence. We have confidence in God. We are convinced in Him. And He is, His reputation is very good. He is God. And there is no iota of, 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 of shadow of doubt with Him. We are certain that He is able. Father, today we are convinced and we relax in your hands we come to you who is able to keep us from falling we come to you who is able to preserve our soul we come to you who is able to make all things new and so we honor your name in jesus name amen god bless you i want to run quickly to my assignment on today i am reading from the book of second samuel chapter 22 the verse number 16 second samuel sorry second samuel chapter 22 the verse number 17 the bible says now he reached down he reached down from heaven and rescued me he drew me out of deep waters he reached down from heaven and rescued me he drew me out of deep waters I came to um, pray with you and I came to also bring a word of rescue to you who is in deep waters. To you who is in deep waters. You are in a situation uh, that that is growing deeper by the, the second. Um, one of the things, I don't know, but I, I personally I have little phobias like me. I, I'm scared of heights and I can swim. And so what anytime I see somebody drowning, uh, I, I can feel it at the highest the the deepest core of my body a sense of helplessness as helplessness and a, um, a sense of um something it's like you're staring your end in the face and that is a person god sent me to come and talk to you god said something today he says i will reach down oh if you see anybody reaching down that person is a man of god if you see any friend reaching down is a friend of god if you see any person reaching down he's a person of god and, and I want you to understand this that it is very important that you begin to um, see what God's about to do in your life today because he has sent me to tell you that he's going to rescue you you might not be able to see his hand but he says that I'm going to reach down and rescue you now let me get to a little bit of the test here and exegete it out and get to a little bit of time for prayer now the Bible says now David was beginning to uh, more of of tabulate his situation by praising God he was kind of taking an inventory of the things God has done for him and he was beginning to thank God with a song and in this song he wrote about the Lord being the lift up his head the Lord being his rescuer and he comes to verse 17 and he says now the Lord reached down uh, I don't know how down you are but the Lord sent me to tell you that he is going to reach down oh my God that satisfied my soul not everybody can go down everybody reaches up everybody wants to go up it takes like i said it takes a person of god to reach down the bible says that david said the lord reached down and then he rescued me and david said that that bring me to my assignment david said that he rescued me from deep waters and that is the person i came to talk to deep waters represent financial continuous difficulty you come out of this bill and a new bill shows up you come out of this challenge and a new challenge shows up you never end up with a positive balance it looks like all your money even the time you say this is the month i will save that is the month that you spend spend a lot but God says I'm about to rescue you from the deep waters of financial burden and I hear God say I'm about to rescue you from the deep waters of emotional and psychological pain because I'm about to rescue you from the deep waters of 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 of, of this situation that is a health condition he says about to rescue you from the deep waters of worry the deep waters of 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 mental torture the deep waters of scary dreams the deep waters of fearful life some of you you don't know but there's this sense of fear that is covering you there is sense of panic and look you cannot be happy because even though everything around you says be happy there is something on your inside that's it's kind of alarm it's like 
something bad is about to happen to me. Something bad is about to happen to me. But that says the Elohim, that says the living God, I'm coming to touch you and rescue you. Deep waters. Now, let me begin to paint a little picture about the deep waters for you to understand this. Now, most waters don't start deep. By the time you realize that you are in deep waters, it means that it kind of grew gradually and it has come to a place where you can't handle it anymore. But the Lord said he's going to rescue you. Now, in another part of the Bible, it says that when you go through waters, I'll be with you. But here he says, now am I going to be with you? I'm coming to rescue you. I declare in the name of Jesus that anything that bothers you may the Lord rescue you anything that fights you may the Lord rescue you anything that touches you may the Lord rescue you anything that begins to eat your hope may the Lord rescue you because he sent me to tell you today that he's about to rescue you he's your rescuer he's about to take care of you he's your rescuer he's about to take care of you in the name of Jesus as prophesied I speak that may the rescuing hand of God come upon you i declare may the rescue hand of god come upon you in the name of jesus he has promised and you will never fail he says i should tell you that he will rescue you he says i should tell you he will preserve you he says to tell you he will lift you up may god lift you up in the name of jesus now finally the one thing that is clear in this is that where you are you shouldn't stay there some of you are in a mental deep waters and I declare that you will be rescued today because it kills. You are in a place that you can go down. You are in a place that you can go into your grave. But that say yes, the Lord, that say yes, the living God, that say yes, Elohim, he will rescue you. Father, we thank you for your rescuing hand that comes upon our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.